Hey guys, it's the Aussie Arm Wrestler here, and I'm going to tell you five things you didn't know about King of the Table 7. Number one, the Jody rule. We were at the rules meeting and everybody got to ask a question. And I couldn't help myself but thought I might troll Devin a bit. So I asked about the Jody rule. How far is Jody allowed to the table? Can Jody approach the pit? Is she allowed to scream at the referees? We had a bit of fun and Devin's reaction was priceless. He turns around and goes, Oh, gee, buddy, come on, man. That's ridiculous. And it was all in a bit of fun, but I tried to get it out there about the Jody rule. Speaking of rules, number two, things got a bit heated at the rules meeting. Although I was having a bit of fun, once the cameras turned off, people were really venting about the rules because there was two different sets of rules for King of the Table 7. And of course, when you're explaining rules for one person and another, it can get all muddled up. But if people ask the wrong questions or something's not explained properly, I'm sure you watching at home got a little bit confused of the rule set. So things were getting a little bit heated afterwards. Donna Dries was involved, Matt Rhodes, Devin. Everyone was asking questions. I wouldn't say Tepper's flared dramatically, but everyone was trying to figure out what was going on. We came to a great conclusion then, so keep an eye on the rule space when it comes to King of the Table. Number three, there will be live commentary at King of the Table 8. So we'll try to figure out if we could do live commentary. And by that, I mean stick a camera on the commentary bench where Coach Ray and I were shooting it and having a bit of a laugh. It was going to be on Core Sports Channel, maybe Matt Rhodes' channel, even maybe my channel. But we decided to go against it because we were right next to the production team. And the last thing you want to hear whilst Ray and I are doing our live commentary and then showing you videos of what's going on in the crowd is hearing all the production team's calls. So what's going to happen at King of the Table 8 is they're going to make a separate space for the commentary team. We're going to stick a camera there. We're going to have a bit of fun. We'll see you over there. Number four, the live feed almost cut off before the main event. That's right. Yours truly got a bit carried away when Devin Larratt was coming out for the main event after I introduced him and Sesame Street was playing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Side note, Devin was the king of trolling that day. I was quickly running over to get there to have a laugh with all of you watching on the pay-per-view and I accidentally kicked some cords and tripped on it. Now, if I really got my feet underneath, tripped and crashed into the production booth, well, the live feed would have cut off right before the main event. Hey, lucky Aussie arm wrestler kept his feet. And number five... Arm wrestling is in a golden position. When it was all said and done and King of the Table was finished, we all ended up in Coach Ray's room. Myself, Engen Terzi, Coach Ray, Mr. and Mrs. Chafee, Mr. and Mrs. Larratt, and a couple of others. And not only were we discussing the future of King of the Table, we were discussing the future of East versus West and arm wrestling in general. These people in the room not only want to make the two promotions massive, but they want to make all arm wrestling in general, absolutely successful. So I can tell you from the conversations that were happening that have to be uh, behind closed doors, arm wrestling is in a magnificent position. What do you think about those five things? Drop it in the comments. Some of them were pretty funny. Some of them were pretty serious. If you've got any questions, I will try to answer them as well. And if you can, drop a like, share and subscribe. Everything that is the Aussie Arm Wrestler. And as always, ready, bang!